Hello, my friend and friend. Have you tried moving on over to the Z editor? I, I recently have, I made a video about it not too long ago. And one thing people ask me is how do we get the live server extension working? Cause maybe you went and you looked up live server uh, and you found it here and you couldn't actually get it to work. No problem. We're going to see how we can do that right now, uh, but we're not going to install the extension. Instead of doing that, I'm going to open up my terminal. We can do that with the control and back tick. So it opens it up here. You can also get it from the view and terminal panel right there. And on Mac, I'm not sure what the shortcut is, probably a command back tick. And then once you're in your terminal here, you can just do an MPX and can I zoom in here? I can, we're gonna do an MPX there. And with that, we can just do MPX live server. Uh, this does require you to have NPM installed. I'll put a link to download NPM. If you don't have it, you probably want it already anyway. If you haven't used MPX before, it's basically going to look if it's installed uh, already. And if not, it will just save it into a, an area where it will be cached for a little while. Uh, and you can see here that it's set up the live server and actually it's opened uh, in a window that's off screen that I'm going to bring over right here. Actually, I should be able to refresh this and there we go. It's working. Uh, and just like you'd expect, if I come on my form, let's go and uh, change the colors here. Uh, if I come down, let's move this over so we can see everything. And if I change this to like a 50%, I hit save and it updates just like it normally would. And yeah, nice and easy. If you try doing the MPX, and it's an unrecognized command. You can just head on over to the link that's in the description for NPM and download and install it. And you're ready to go. You probably want it for stuff anyway. So I'll also include a link down below or a video on screen right now somewhere on getting started with NPM if you've never used it, which you probably want to be doing and not relying too much on extensions anyway. And with that, I want to say a very big thank you to my enabler of awesome Johnny, as well as all my other patrons and channel members for their continued support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.